Welcome, my name is Mohan Abu Siddhi, Assistant Professor at Protocoli Science and Technical University, Bangladesh. After this video, you will have a basic understanding of land use planning. Further, you will be able to explain the planning process. Let's begin with the basic understanding of land use planning. The demands for arable land, grazing, forestry, wildlife, tourism, and urban development are greater than the land resource available. In developing countries, these demands become more pressing every year. The population dependent on the land for food, fuel, and employment will be down within the next 20 to 50 years. Even every land is still plentiful. Many people may have inadequate access to land. Hence, land use planning is needed for minimizing these limitations. Land use planning refers to the process by which the society through its institutions decide where within its territory different socio-economic activities such as agriculture, housing, industry, recreation and commerce should take place. Planning also provides guidance in case of conflict between rural and urban land use or industrial expansions by indicating which areas of land are most valuable under rural use. Land use planning is a public policy exercise that regulates the use of land in order to improve its community's physical, economic and social efficiency and quality. A land use plan may be prepared for an urban area, a rural area or a region encompassing both rural and urban areas. The driving force in Planning is the need for change, the need for improvement or improved management or the need for a wide different pattern of land use. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations stated that land use planning is the systematic assessment of land and water potential, alternatives for land use and economic and social conditions in order to select and adopt the best land use options. The working group on integrated land use planning defined land use planning as an iterative process based on the dialogue among all stakeholders aiming at the negotiations and decisions for a sustainable form of land use in rural areas as well as initiating and monitoring its implementation. Now I would like to talk about the planning process. Land use planning starts and ends with different sorts of questions related to present situation change desirable, problem and opportunity identifications, strategies or options for land use, selecting based options, monitoring the implementation progress and finally update or revise the plan. It starts with the questions asked by the planner. What is the present situation? Here we can ask the planner present situation for what? Answer is it is about the area or planning unit where planning will take place or where there is need for development or restructuring. It may be the whole country or a district, sub-district, even a community. So the present situation will be identified firstly in the planning unit. After that, planner will further ask that, is change desirable? So what are you thinking to home? They will ask these questions. Yes, of course, they will ask the question to the people of the planning unit or they can ask themselves. If the answer is no, then no longer planning will take place. And if the answer is yes, then they further ask what needs to be changed. This is one of the key questions of land use planning. Here they will identify some problems and opportunities of land use after discussing with the people of the planning area. The next question is how can the changes be made? That means how will you solve the problems or use the opportunities? For this, planner seek a range of ways to make use of the opportunities and solve the problems. In many cases, it is not less than three alternative options. People's participation will end after these questions. After that, they will present the selected options of planning to the decision makers and ask them what is the best option. 
In this stage, decision makers will choose the best options and based on the possible output of the implementing each alternative. So, planning is done but needs to implement the selected plan. During the implementation process, planners can ask themselves how far is the plan succeeding. In this stage, they will monitor the progress of planning output and change the plan if necessary. If anything needs to change, that planner will follow the full guideline of the planning process again. That's why it is a process. Thank you for watching this video. We will discuss about the principle of language planning in the next video.